So, girls, can you talk to us a little bit about the course that you're studying at the moment? So uh, we're on the HND course at the minute and we started the course at HNC level so we came straight from school. Um, it's just a really, really active course, it's good. Um, we, especially coming from right, right from school, we didn't really... Not a lot of outside like theatre, theatre experience. We've, we've both done like musical theatre mm -hmm. uh, growing up and so coming into this it was like a totally different environment and it's... it's um, you sort of you can quite quickly see the difference between like the amdram you sort of grew up doing, and then what you could actually possibly do near mm -hmm. the end of like your two or three years, however long you spent yeah. at the college. And I think, course. I think doing um, drama at school, you kind of think that that's what it is. Like you do mm -hmm. drama, that's what you learn, and you're going to learn it at college. Just kind of a bit more information about it. But when you come to college, you definitely realise there is that difference mm -hmm. and there is a lot more that you need to learn. And I think with having such a musical theatre background as well, um, I definitely wasn't really too clued up about the acting side of things. We're very much like quite musical based. And um, I think quite a lot we did was based on the songs that you sang or the way you danced or whatever. It never had anything to do with like how you think as an actor. Um, so I definitely think this course has helped kind of give us more information about that as we learn about um, different people like Stanislavski and do more breath yeah. work and stuff. You learn a lot about the um, <coughs> different practitioners and styles of acting, which you kind of, if you do it with like advanced higher drama, you touch on that a little bit, but um, you, you sort of learn that acting is not just one thing and, and you kind of find the style that works best for you. So. Maybe Stanislavski and naturalism is like what your sort of key is, or maybe it's Brecht and it's all about the political side of things and, and how you can do theatre without doing theatre, which is that his kind of thing. And, and um, as well, you, all the different various styles like devising theatre and um, uh, physical theatre and site specific and everything like that. So, like, we've worked a lot with various, various different methods of theatre, forum mm -hmm. theatre. Which is something I'd like I'd never heard of really, yeah. and verbatim theatre and that you, you realise that um, through doing the course that it's not just one thing that you've got this like idea of, because that's maybe what you've done at school or that's the only experience you have of it, and uh, it's not like directing and, and acting isn't just like okay, you go here and you do this and then you will go here and you'll do something else. It's more like you're gonna go here, but you like why would you want to go there? Like what's pushing you to go there? And it, it, you start to learn more about your actual like characters as people and you, you start to learn how to develop characters as real people instead of just something that's like in a text. Yeah. I definitely think that's helped with production so when you get to HND you do two productions, HNC you do one production on um, the stage at the space mm -hmm. um, at Kingsway so um, and then at NC you get to do like a little device performance um, and I think definitely with HND um, I think learning what we've learn has definitely helped with giving our characters and intentions and um, obstacles of what stops us from doing what we're doing and instead of just taking the direction and going with it without really thinking about yeah. anything and I think especially in the units we're doing now we're doing like a specific acting unit just based on How intentions you character and stuff. Yeah. yeah and it definitely helps because I've um, that's one thing I've really struggled with is just trying to think why why does your character do that? What stops your character doing? Like just loads of questions that I think of. And I think doing this course, doesn't matter if it's from NC, HNC, or just whatever year you start at, I think you definitely question quite a lot of things of how you work. And it's really, really good because it keeps you on your toes. And I think yeah. um, having that chance to possibly change the way you learn to benefit yourself as an actor is really, really good. And it's a good thing about this course as well. And Yeah, it's a really like personal course. You get to know the lecturers really well, you get to know each other really, really well because the classes are fairly small compared to probably, like, probably other classes in the college and it's near enough practical all the time. You're pretty much on your feet mm -hmm. doing things all the time and, and if, you know, if you want to be an actor that's the majority of the time is how you're going to learn. But then as well as that you also find your own ways of how you learn and how you do things. So like our acting unit this year in HND is totally different to your acting unit in HNC. So this is all about how you, as a personal actor, develops 
yourself and, and you find your own ways of doing things and your own styles which is like completely different to what somebody else might do but then somebody else might do something and you try it and you're like actually that's that really works for me as well yeah, yeah. Um, and the lecturers as well are really good at sort of seeing how you work and learning how you work and helping you developing in that I definitely think the course is it's really fun it's full on as well um, and I think coming right from school as well was quite a lot to start with because you're like wow this is like but you do it because you love it and mm -hmm. I think having the class that we've got is really really good as well because you get to know them because you spend so long with them as well especially being in HND you're right into production you get stuck in you're just you're just going for it yeah, you six weeks together it's, at the start it's of intense HND is a lot, um, yeah. but I think you get the most out of it just by going for it and I think this is what this course teaches you to do like you'd be as well going for it instead of them constantly telling you to just okay maybe make that a bit bigger or you know I think um, definitely at the start when I started HNC it was a big massive jump and I think trying new things was like quite a struggle because I was always like oh well this isn't what I did in school and I was always told to just to just do what the teacher said and I think definitely having the relationship that we've got with the lecturers helps because like we've all got trust and yeah. I think as a class as well we've definitely gotten closer and I think it just does that <coughs> anyway as a, as a course you're constantly active you're with each other and even from NC there was because we just came from HNC yeah. we were able to bond with the classmates that were already in H NC and then came up um, and I think and you bond yeah. the other years a lot as well it, it's because all the other years are they're all fairly small classes throughout all three years and you work with them a lot you, you all support each other and go and see each other's work and stuff like their um, like their productions any device pieces their acting units often need uh, an audience to actually perform to as part of their final thing and so it's really nice to see even if like you're only here for like two years or whatever it's, it's nice to see the progress that like people go through from NC if they join then into their HNC stuff and you see people change and um, like in, in school like you do learn a lot about sort of the basics of theatre and drama I suppose but it's all very head based because a lot of like school work I find is head based whereas yeah. here it's like you become a person again and you remember how to react in reality to things and, and uh, you become more of a body I think you move more and you think with your body instead of standing back and going right okay so what am I going to do here instead you just will go for it and that you see that natural progression in people, especially people who have come from school mm -hmm. and stuff. So. Yeah, I think as well with the courses that you do get a lot of opportunities as well. Oh yeah. And I think just it just really helps with like getting contacts and stuff as you leave yeah, the course and if you apply for drama schools, if you don't, you've still got contacts that can still keep in touch with you. You've got um, people you're going to know for ages. like. Yeah, you've got, yeah. we've recently worked with Vicky Heath. Um, who has her own theatre company, it's quite physical theatre, um, devised kind of pieces that she does and we've kept in touch and um, as a class she'll always ask for, for more people to join her company for certain projects and there's Claire B as well who um, quite a few classmates have been involved with her projects as well and um, Stand Easy as well which is a really good project um, which quite a few of us get a chance to be involved in as well. Yeah, it's um, really cool. Yeah, yeah it's a good the amount of opportunities you get as well along with maybe because we do movement and voice and stuff as well we've got these core units that we do as well and sometimes we'll learn stuff that could p potentially help with keeping in touch with other people to do with certain things and I think that's what yeah, we're yeah. as well. It's really cool because even if you don't go on to drama school or something you, you potentially have a job or you have something to go to when you leave and, and uh, that's what a lot of sort of HND is about is really building up your contacts and, and your CV and in, like the two years we've been here we've already got like so much more experience yeah, than six years of school could give you um, and it's just it, yeah it's really good and it's really chill and stuff as well so it's not like like they're not like the lectures aren't on you all the time like if you have a bad day or you slip up or that like it's not like you can't go to anybody and get help for it or something like that you, you can go right okay that's fine I did that but I, it's okay because I know if I come in tomorrow or something then it's just a fresh day and the lectures are all are, always going to be there to help you through it and it's just yeah it's just really chill it's great so you've spoke about um your class quite a lot 
And how have you guys found the different age ranges and kind of the, the group dynamics within your class? Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah, it's so good to yeah. be able to like speak to people and work with people who are like different ages. Yeah. And because um, it's all like different life experience that people have. So yeah. our class is a massive range. So we've got like a woman who's in her 60s and then a woman who's in her 40s and like they've done it when they were younger maybe and they've like come back to it but then so you've then got like their input as well as your own input but then like they you just you learn from everybody because everyone has different experiences yeah, and, different. and different things that they've done and um, I think it just it just creates more variety and everything because you've got so much more to draw on because if you've not done something and or you've not experienced it because of your age um, like you potentially have someone that you can go and talk to and I think all the classes are really varied and stuff yeah. like all the year groups are you don't need to be a young fresh faced person straight out of school to go into a course like this I think if you're coming back to it it's it's even more rewarding potentially and like you take out what you put in and even if you like take a break and go back to it and stuff that like you can see just how beneficial it is yeah I think as well there's we've all got different life experiences yeah and we came from different backgrounds and I think when it comes to production as well or even just a small acting project that we do, um, having that chance to maybe go in depth because we do quite a lot of like background work and we do quite a lot of historical research and just why the play was written at that time for example and knowing people that have possibly like, like known about the, yeah, yeah. Known about the time when it was written, if it's even a piece of verbatim who's kind of lived through that kind of year um, that it's happened and I think that really really helps because you've got the people you can speak to without not having to do all the research but at the same time someone was you, yeah. like present during that time which is really, really good. And it opens so many discussions about things as well so it's it's like uh, growing up uh, like being how like as young as we are or whatever like there's things that we don't really know about in history because we didn't grow up during it but then um, like we'll research it but then you get potentially like first hand accounts of things like that and like it's it's just really interesting it's always nice to be with people who are different because you get bored if everybody's the same so it's brilliant to have everybody who's different and and, and different experiences because then you're you know everyone's got stories and, and everybody's life is, is like exciting and stuff so it's just it's great you really learn to listen a lot more as well and you learn to like um, you just learn to understand more because someone could be having a rough day based on what you're doing and it's based on something that like has happened or whatever and, and it's brilliant it's really brilliant so what are your best days at college like i think it's the days where because <clears throat> the days are like nine till five pretty much and you come and you warm up and then you're in classes the days mm -hmm. but when you're in sort of a block maybe like production or or you're devising unit or that and you're focusing on that and um, and it's the days when you feel like you're really getting the most out of what you're doing so like yeah, like yeah. it can be a long day but if, if it's like one of the most productive days that you've had it doesn't feel long like you'll suddenly get to the end of the day and it's like oh it's like it's just like a really good feeling when you've when you're doing a unit and you kind of when you hit near the end of it and like you know that like, it's fully come together mm -hmm. it's really cool and it's really cool watching it like all come together anyway yeah I would like I would say um probably because we do individual units as well while we're in that block so for example production will have movement and voice classes going on in the same week and I think when it clicks into place of why we've done that movement exercise or why we've warmed up our voice in that way for that particular accent and stuff yeah. and it all finally starts to come together really it's cool. really satisfying as well when you're up on stage doing mm -hmm. what you enjoy going okay all of these classes and units and assessments all kind of belong together and they all match up and if you're putting 100 percent into it, like into those classes which are like the core classes like you notice it absolutely 100 mm -hmm. it creates yeah. a better kind of energy as well in the room and if everyone's being really positive about like why we do these classes there might only be a couple of hours a week but movement still matches up with voice and still matches up with production or our acting unit or our camera unit um, the classes are some of like, the most fun as well. They're so fun as well, they're Great. so enjoyable. And can you sum up your college experience in three words each? Oh. Um, rewarding, 
warning. I going to say that. It's a warning. Um, oh, what's that word where it's like, not comforting, but you know what I mean? It's like you kind of see everything coming into place. Um, it's almost like comforting, but it's not. What is that word? Yeah, kind of like like a mixture of satisfying and comforting, I suppose, because yeah. it, it's you kind of it's like a little family that you've got. Wholesome. Wholesome. That's it. Wholesome. Yeah, wholesome. It's so good. yeah, it's rewarding, <laughs> wholesome, and um, it's just lovely. It's like it really is a little family here. It's mm -hmm. amazing. Um, I'd say busy mm. in a very good way. Um, positive as well because you, you tend to get a, a buzz out of what you do because yeah, you're, you're in a course that you know you enjoy and you're you're active all the time and you enjoy it so so much and I would say um, fab it's just fab I love the course so much and it's so good come apply 